Guitar technique fundamentals Parts of the guitar When referring to parts of the guitar, guitars will include a headstock. The headstock allows for tuning keys to be attached. The tuning keys are adjusted to change the tension of the strings, and tune the guitar to the correct pitch. At the base of the headstock is a white piece of solid material called the nut. The nut supports the correct height or action for the strings. The headstock and the nut of the guitar is then connected, to a neck. Over the top of the neck is a long piece of dark wood called a fretboard. The fretboard allows for thin metal rods called frets to be inserted. Depending on the type of guitar played there can be up to 22 frets. The point where the body of the guitar and neck connect is then reinforced, with a heel which is located behind the neck on top of the guitar body. The body of the guitar consists of an upper bout and a lower bout. The body is made up of a back and sides from various types of hard woods. It is then enclosed with a soundboard. This creates a hollow chamber for the sound of the guitar to resonate inside. As the sound travels inside the guitar body it exits through a sound hole, which is highlighted by a pattern called a rosette. The strings are then attached to a rectangular piece of wood called a bridge. The bridge is located on the lower bout of the soundboard and secures another thin strip of solid material called a saddle. The saddle like the nut assists in the correct action for the strings. When referring to steel string or dreadnought guitars, it will be obvious to the player that they are made with much larger lower bouts, than classical guitars. Dreadnought guitars usually have another piece of material attached to the soundboard. This piece of material is called a pickguard and functions as a protective layer over the soundboard. This is especially the case for players who like to strum the guitar with flat picks. It can also act as protection for players who use percussive effects on the guitar. The player will also notice numerous white dots on the fretboard. These white dots act as fret position markers to assist what notes to fret on the guitar. Other features of the guitar are more towards solid body, or electric guitars. Solid body guitars cannot resonate sound inside the body, so the sound needs to be amplified using an amp. For the guitar to amplify the sound, it will need to be connected with a cable to an input jack on the amp and an output jack on the guitar. Once the guitar is connected, you can adjust the sound using volume and tone controls on the guitar and amp. The player can also change the tone by playing over the pickup areas on the guitar. Most electric guitars come with two or more pickups and can be interchanged with, a switch selector. Finally, another way the sound and tone of electric guitars can be changed, is through the use of pedals. These pedals come in various settings to create different tonal effects. Some tonal effect pedals include overdrive, distortion, wah, fuzz, phaser, flanger, acoustic, tremolo, delay, looper, reverb, chorus and compression. I hope you liked this video, on the parts of the guitar. Please feel free to comment and subscribe, to get more videos on guitar technique fundamentals, by Guitar Gusto.